What's up guys? I'm sorry I'm a few minutes late to my own stream. I was watching this incredible interview from Steve's World with Ryan McDowell. So that was such a good stream, Steve. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, Ryan is such an awesome person and I cannot wait for him to start his own channel and to do live streams for us. And I really like that idea of doing the mod chat. I think that will be really fun, but um, awesome stream, Steve. That was so exciting. I always love those kinds of um, of interviews. They're they're awesome. Um, so hi everyone, welcome. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful Monday evening. Start to your week. Um, I'm just gonna quickly go through the chat. Sam, hi, Captain Acron, Nick Gates, Lawrence Travels, Andrew Bidding, Kathy, Alex Brunner, um, James, G. Wilson, um, Stacy, hello, Jonathan Chong, Tina McNeil, Hannah Anderson. Um, Chris says, hashtag trash can tables. I love it. You guys are coming in with the trash can tables. Tim Pruitt, Karen Cook, Kay Atwood, Mike Wheeler, Toaster Steve sent me with trash can tables. That's hilarious. Theme Amazing, hello. Pete McDevitt, awesome stream last night. Guys, if you hadn't checked out Pete's stream from last night, oh my gosh, hilarious. Sunday nights at eight o'clock. You got to check it out. Um, Mike 88 NYC. Welcome. Donna Jaworski. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Preston. Leanne. Oh, it just did a big jump. I'm going to scroll back up. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Jersey Mike. Kelly. Hello. Christine Hickman. Gary B. Surfer Girl Cherie. Hello. The Hitchhiking Bones. Rising Moons. Oh, thank you. They're my Peter Pan ears, Stacey. Um, hey, Caitlin. No worries. Um, Rob, hello. Jedi Master Yoda, hello. Rob Fuzz, Janie B, Jesse, Billy, Kenzie Days' mom. A huge congratulations to Kenzie. She graduated from high school. She had her celebration yesterday, her graduation party. We have some awesome mail, and I actually got a card from them. So thank you so much for this amazing card. Um, you guys are so kind. Ryan or Shep, I don't know. I have to start calling you Shep. It's weird. I still prefer to call you Ryan. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, oh, it skipped again. Hold on, guys. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. It uh, it goes by so fast. You guys are are into live streaming yourselves. You know that the chat moves really fast. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying not to miss anyone. Too Rebecca Bell. Hello, trash can tables. I love it. Bill Steffen. Hello, <laughs> Brandy and Dave. Hi, Brandy. I know it's Brandy because all the hearts. Marshmallow Man. I hope you feel better. Um, Avery. Hello. Um, is Nick here? Jumbo Nick, if you're here. <laughs> James Ryan. Hello. <laughs> um, I think I pretty much got everyone. Um, if I've missed you, let me know, just tag me. I will, uh, say hi to you. And, um, hi, Hannah Anderson. I think I said hi to you. Amy Privet. Hello. Um, if I missed you, let me know. Uh, but today I have some magic mail, um, some really, really wonderful, wonderful, uh, cards that I got really special people. Hey, Nathan, welcome. Uh, so thank you guys for sending me mail. That's so special. Um, I actually had Patrick. Hello. I have gotten this amazing t-shirt from Walt and Melissa from Mouse Talk. So if you don't um, know Mouse Talk or hi, Leanne. <laughs> hi, Happy Hopper. If you guys aren't subscribed to Mouse Talk, please go check them out. They've been doing daily live streams talking about the parks um, at six o'clock Eastern time every single day. Um, but I asked them if, hey, Piccolo Truski, hello. I asked them if they would be able to pick up one of the new Universal 30th anniversary shirts because I'm a huge Universal fan. Um, I just really, really love Universal Studios. I mean, I like all the theme parks pretty much. Um, but they had some amazing new merchandise for the 30th anniversary. So I actually have that in the wash right now. I have to say Piccolo Truski now. Like, there's no other way. <laughs> um, Oh, you met them last night? That's awesome, Hannah. Um, Steamboat Disney, hello. But they, so they sent me that t-shirt, one of the um, t-shirt, thank you, Avery, for posting their link. Um, one of the t-shirts with the 30th anniversary merchandise, which was so wonderful. They are so generous. And they also sent me this really cute postcard. And it just says, 
sorry, I stuttered a little bit. Hey, Jim, welcome. Um, hi, Meg, thanks for being so amazing. We love you and can't wait to hopefully see you again soon. Love, Walt, Melissa. Um, Pete McDevitt, thank you, $1.99. Shep, the movie is Wally, not Rufy. <laughs> Well, I did. I, <laughs> I I think I missed something. <laughs> um, P is just like one of the most incredible people. And P, I think I have to double check my calendar, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be on next week. Yes, P and Preston are going to be on next week. So you don't want to miss that. They're going to be on my stream next week. I just absolutely love Pete and Preston. They're some of the most kind people I have ever met. Um, and Pete is just such an inspiration. So I can't wait to have them on. But isn't this just the most adorable card? Hey, Shelly, welcome. So I love that. So a huge thank you to Walt and Melissa for sending this. Um, it is so huge, Hannah. The community is ginormous. Um, I feel like I should change my ears halfway through. Um, this one is, oh, this one's from... Billy and Tracy and Kenzie and I had such a good time looking at this because look at that card. Oh my gosh. How funny is this? You guys are so, so kind. Thank you so much for sending this. Um, they sent me, most of these are very, very kind uh, graduation cards. Uh, many of you know that I, I graduated with my master's um, and actually today my diploma came so that was very very exciting i sent patrick a picture um because i'm very excited but um yes the ostriches super cool i really love it um thank you guys so much i don't know if i should read the card um only because like some of it you know sometimes people write personal things in here um but they are they just wrote such a kind message and um oh thank you guys so much thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was very exciting to get that in the mail today, um, especially because as many of you guys know, um, other graduates from 2020, um, I didn't have a ceremony. My school didn't do a um, virtual ceremony. Mikey, hello. But hopefully one day I'll get to do more of a celebration. Um, but thank you so much for that generous card. You guys are so wonderful. I can't remember what this is. Oh, oh, this one is so cool because yes, it's official now. I well, back in like May seventh or eighth or whatever my last day of school was, um, I I technically had it, but now I have a piece of paper saying that I have a master's degree. Um, Andrew Bidding, hello, Meg is officially a Jedi master's now. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, this one is from Disney Dan, so it's got um, the London Eye on it, so. Thank you guys so much. Um, Jonathan Chong, I, I don't know if I said hi to you, but hello. Um, this is a postcard from London. So if you guys don't, don't know, Disney Dan is um, from the UK. And oh, luckily my friends who were in the class of 2020 still had a ceremony, socially distanced um, ceremony with some fireworks, but a ceremony nonetheless. Yeah, I, um, I was very disheartened that I didn't get to have a ceremony so um, my son graduated high school in May. You guys will before forget your graduations. Well, I mean, I uh, I didn't walk in my high school graduation. Um, I had a lot of health issues, so I, I just didn't. Um, and then I, I graduated in, with my college, my bachelor's degree. And that was like, I talk about it all the time. It was like literally the best day of my life. Um, I have like two best days of my life. <laughs> right now. And uh, that was one of them because it was such a huge milestone for me. Um, it was really, really important. I had a lot of people tell me that I wouldn't be able to graduate um, college. So um, to be able to get a master's degree, I really, really wanted to be able to walk. But we'll see um, if that happens. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that will ever happen. Uh, we'll, we'll see if my school ends up doing anything. But this is from Disney Dan. It's so cool. And another uh, graduation card from Dan saying massive congratulations on your success at college works so hard and such an amazing achievement all the best Disney Dan hashtag citrus squirrel <laughs> you guys missed that that was pretty funny too um yes college graduation is a special time so congratulations to all the other class of 2020 grads um you guys are amazing uh to finish through the pandemic is such a feat so if you have someone in your family give them an extra hug um if, if they graduated this year so thank you so much dan for this i can't believe dan sent this from the uk it is so beautiful so thank you again for that 
Um, I just absolutely love all these cards. And then let's see who this next one is from. Oh, this next one is from, I know it's from Mama Mouse and Kelly, because I had opened this in the car, because anyone else who goes to their P.O. box, I, I um, go very infrequently. So thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, but I opened this in the car because I'm impatient when it comes to opening mail. Um, and then everything fell out of it. It was like confetti everywhere, but little, little uh, Mickey confetti. I'm trying to, if you could see that. Hey, Tracy, welcome. Um, and yeah, this was everywhere in the car and, and it fell all over my car. So <laughs> thank you so much, Mama Mouse, for that. Um, this is like one of the most beautiful cards. And I really, I feel like she made this. So Mama Mouse, if you ever watch this stream back, or I'll just have to ask you. Um, I'm pretty sure you made this card because it's incredible. Um, the most delicate butterfly. And she said, fluttering by to tell you how special you are <laughs> to Myers and the mouse. So, I mean, awesome. Oh, um, Mike, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Let's, um, we could sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mike. Happy birthday to you. Awesome. I hope you had a great birthday. There's a lot of birthdays this week. I know a lot of people, but um, thank you so, so much to Mama Mouse and Kelly for this amazing card. So, so cool. And everyone wish Mike a happy birthday. Also, um, if you guys want to stick around, I have um, one more piece of mail to open. And then I'm going to show you some of my older pins that my mom has found through this pandemic. Because if you guys aren't, aren't like us, um, we have been cleaning so much. So uh, my parents have been in, in their house, um, my, my house, <laughs> their house, the house that I live in, um, for uh, almost 28 years. So they have a lot of stuff and uh, a lot of stuff from my childhood. And uh, yeah, so she found a lot of cool pins recently. And uh, one of them is a box set from before Disney pin trading started. So that's super cool. And I know Lauren really likes pins too. So we will get into pins. Um, this is like one of the most beautiful cards I have ever seen too. And I know this person is here in the chat. Um, I don't know if I should just do the... Meg's magical moment right now because it's this person that I got this card from. Uh, Leanne, you are just one of the most incredible funny people that I have ever met. I absolutely loved seeing your stream with Patrick and then <laughs> after hours on Twitch with Ryan. <laughs> that was just so funny. Um, wait, fun fact, Bigfoot is real. I'm watching a documentary right while listening to Meg. Um, well, we found out the Sugar Plum Fairy is also real, so that's a thing. And I saw a documentary on uh, the Diz and That channel, so you should check that out. Hey, Jumbo Nick, Balian, you are just so incredible. Thank you for all that you do. You just, uh, you blow me away uh, just with how positive you are and um, <laughs> Sasquatch exists. Well, We'll see, maybe more documentaries. Um, but Leanne also went out of her way to send me this beautiful, beautiful card. Um, and it says, never underestimate all the wonderful things you're capable of, the impact of your dreams and ideas, your uniqueness and all you have to offer the world. And it's like the most beautiful velvet. I think I just sat in the car for like a few minutes and just like felt this. I'm a very tactile person. I like to touch things. Um, that's how I like, get information. I like touch. Um, but she just wrote me the nicest note and um, never underestimate the special person you are now and the one you have the power to become. Congratulations. She said the sky is the limit. So just thank you so much guys for your for your wishes, your warm wishes. And um, just thank you, Leanne, for being the amazing person you are. I just wanted to spotlight you um, <laughs> very quickly because um, you're incredible. So also, Mike, I won't forget this time. I did it early and uh, I always for forget by the end. So I've been trying to be very cognizant of um, remembering that. <laughs> and, um, 
Thank you very much, Leanne, for all that you do. Please, guys, go check out Leanne. Um, she doesn't have any, you, you might have, I think you said you might start making videos. So guys, please go subscribe to her channel because even if you're not, like she is just, uh, she's so hilarious and I love watching you on stream. You have to like, please come on my stream one time. I, I'm not as a, what's the word I'm looking for? I like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not as, um, what's the word? It's, I don't want to say like strong, but you, uh, Oh, she'll be starting putting things up there. So please go subscribe to her channel. Someone please post the link. Um, but she is a very unique, very um, strong personality. And I am just not that way. <laughs> and I love people who are like that because they're just so sure of themselves and they have so much confidence. And I just like, I love how you deliver your words. You have such confidence and I wish that I had that. So I admire you very much, Leanne, and I can't wait to start seeing videos with you and being on more streams. Um, zip slips to you, Leanne. Yes, cheers. <laughs> um, so thank you to everyone who sent me mail. Um, I, I keep these cards up on um, Leanne. We will, I will reach out to you. So. Yes, a D Disney lady YouTuber stream. I love it. So Lauren, if you want to be on, let me know. I would love to do that. We'll get some, we'll get five other ladies and uh, we'll chit chat about Disney and, and other things. Um, but these cards are now sitting with, um, I have my, what are, my cap, <laughs> my cap from my bachelor's degree. And um, I have all my graduation cards surrounding that. And um Oh, thank you so much, Stacy. I, I will have to go back and check. I, you guys, if you ever send me anything, just like give me a heads up because if you don't let me know, I probably won't go and check it <laughs> because I usually don't check my PO box unless someone tells me that they've sent something, which is so, so kind. Thank you guys so much for sending these. But these will go in my little area. I've like made myself a little shrine <laughs> of like my graduation stuff. That's how I get to... Uh, to celebrate on my own, but let's move on to pins because I know that that's what you guys really came for. Um, and I'm gonna start off with this box set and then we can move on to some of the individual pins because my mom just like found this weird shadow box, not shadow box kind of thing. Um, Oh, no worries, Pam, welcome. And uh, yes, please, please, if someone could post, um, oh, Donna posted it, thank you so much. Uh, hey, Mary, welcome. Um, yes, Donna Pins, I was gonna have you on, but I know that you haven't been feeling well. So guys, please send all your good vibes, all of your prayers to Donna. She is just like the most wonderful person ever. But anyway, this box set, um, oh, thanks, Karen. <laughs> I do have like a legitimate Lord of the Rings kind of shrine. Um, you guys also know that I really like Lord of the Rings. So like I've got a lot of that stuff and they're all like, I keep them very organized. Um, but I have this Pocahontas set that my mom's also kept this like this slip cover too. Um, Corey, she doesn't have a shrine to you like Steve. No, Steve like... I wish that Kelly would have put that video in. Um, he like, <laughs> he was like caressing the t-shirt <laughs> for the Can't Stop the Feeling video. Like Steve had sent me a few of his like potential videos that he was gonna send in. Um, Cause so many of us were participating in that video. And if you guys haven't checked that out, someone please post the link to that because that is such an incredible video. Um, it will bring such a smile to your face. but. Steve went like <laughs> to Corey's t-shirt and I laughed so hard. Um, but my mom kept the slip cover to this. This is what the box looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, ironically, I'm not a huge Pocahontas fan, but my brother was. My brother just like wanted to, he, he wanted to live in Pocahontas. He absolutely loved Pocahontas growing up. I think he tried to dress up as Pocahontas one year. <laughs> <laughs> for Halloween, um, like he made an outfit and everything. He just like absolutely loved Pocahontas. So I'm sure that this was his, but he's not interested in Disney pins like I am. Um, I don't even know if he knows that this is, exists, but it's a really beautiful box set. And we've got a lot of cool characters. They're actually very, very small. 
um, compared to, yes, the box alone is really awesome. Um, and these pins are from 1996. So that's pretty cool. It's got like a pretty velvety top here. But I don't want to take them out of the box. Um, I don't think we've probably ever taken them out of the box. Um, but we've got six different pins there. Super cool. Um, but yeah, these are probably the oldest pins that I have. And uh, I showed... Um, there's a Pocahontas anniversary pin out now. Really awesome. Yes, I saw a few of those. I actually, like I said, I don't collect anything from Pocahontas. Um, so... This is really interesting that we had this. Um, I I have I, I think I probably have said this before. I have always always loved um, Winnie the Pooh. Yes, 1996. It does feel pretty long ago, but at the same time, I still feel like it's like 2008. Like <laughs> like oh, it's just it's just 2008. But you know that's 12 years ago, so that's pretty crazy. Hey, Detroit Disney duo, welcome. So, um, this was a really, really cool find for her to like, she's like, Oh, guess what I found today? I'm like, what? And this was like, I, I don't know, a couple months ago that she found it right when we started, um, quarantine, but I just like absolutely really love this, um, this box set. So that was really cool to find. Um, like everyone's saying the box is really cool. And the fact that we still have the little slip cover, um, I think that's probably why the box is still, um, Stacy, I looked up, I looked that up before and I don't think it's worth that much, but I, I'm not really interested in selling my older pins as well. Um, they're like really nostalgic for me and, uh, it, it helps me to remember my childhood or, or bits and pieces of it, but it's pretty cool. Um, I have other pins that are definitely worth more than that. Um, but this is very special cause it is definitely the oldest, um, pin set that I have. Um, I'm sure my, my mom, like, um, I'm very grateful for her. She, uh, <laughs> I, I know I was talking, my brain goes like, bing, 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 bing. Um, I'll buy your Sally pins. <laughs> Patrick, that's okay. I'm not, I actually just made a pair of Sally ears. Um, thanks Daisy. I actually just made a pair of Sally ears, uh, this evening. Um, so that was pretty cool. I'll buy all your pins. <laughs> I thought you were saying buy my Sally pins. I'll, I'm going to keep my pins because I like them. Hey, Melly Mel, welcome. Um, we're actually just talking about pins now. So you came in at the perfect time. I just want to show this pin set one more time so you could see. Um, this is my oldest pin set, I think, um, from 1996. So here we go. I, I wish that there was better lighting, but it's really hard with this. Like, it doesn't open more than that. So, um, but that was, that was that one. And then my mom recently found, um, I'm going to disappear for a hot second. I'm back. Um, well, like set this one up. My mom found this shadow box kind of thing. Um, another pin expert. I am by no means a pin expert. I just have a bad, bad habit of buying these things. So um, I'm very, very um, blessed. And hey, Deborah, welcome. Um, my mom would let us get a, <laughs> oh, guys, hold on. I'm waiting for this to pop up on the uh, update on Bigfoot. He may or may not have been real, still looking for him. I'm glad that we got, hey, this is like the zibbity doodad report. Like what kind of weather are we getting? Um, I I didn't see a new pin of Pocahontas. Is there a new pin? But I've seen the the other ones that have been released recently. Um, have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? <laughs> I love it, Avery. Um, but my mom my mom uh, let us get pins when we were younger. We would she would give us like twenty dollars to be able to spend on our vacation for like the week or however long we were going to be there, just so we didn't bother her or like. $10 and then she would have us do math and like say, Hey, I could get this pin or I could get this with my $10. Anyway, she did that. And we ended up getting pins. That was like what we, we brought home as souvenirs. So, um, we have a lot of really cool pins. My mom was very savvy to do that, uh, with, uh, <laughs> with that. Um, 
Right. Uh, James Ryan says, you are indeed an expert, Meg. I started collecting after the stream you shared with Donna. Oh, that makes my heart so happy. Oh, the legacy pin came out today to celebrate 25 years. That is awesome. Um, Ryan from Disney Pins blog posted the new Pocahontas pin today. Well, I'll have to look at that after. Um, like I was saying, I'm not a huge Pocahontas collector, but uh, you name it when uh, all the uh, the new pins come out. I do give them a look and I, like... I was this close to getting the Ariel and Flounder one. I was like, do I need this one? I don't have the other ones. Like, so uh, I have had quite a bit of pin mail recently. eBay is, eBay is good and bad for me, 100%. I actually still have to, um, like a couple weeks ago, Patrick had done this stream where he, he um, had Steve on and they, and they were opening mystery boxes or mystery bags and, um, I was supposed to be on that stream. Unfortunately, there my you know there's been a lot going on in my personal life um, as of recently, so I wasn't able to make it. And um, I still have the two boxes from that. So I don't know if I'll make a video about it or if I'll just do it on a live stream one day. Um, but I have two mystery boxes, and I look at the pins and I'm just like, oh, they're so pretty, but do I really need them? So um, I'm just gonna pull. Um, I actually have pins from Universal and Disney from here. So one really cool pin. And Lauren, you might like this one because I know that you're a Universal fan as well. Um, this is from the grand opening. This is a not a Disney pin, but uh, the grand opening of Islands of Adventure, summer of 1999. So I'm trying to like, oh, that's a little bit better. So this is a pretty large pin. Um, we obviously really like Universal and Islands of Adventure. I'm trying to find like a good one. This is like very reflective. Um, but I thought this was really, really cool um, to have. I got the billiard, the Pinocchio billiards pin because I saw it on your stream, Meg. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. Um, but yes, this is like a mini kind of jumbo pin um, from the opening of Islands of Adventure. It's like so hard to do this on a stream. It has the dragons. Yes. Can you um, do a, a video showing your ears? That would be awesome. Um, which ears? Me making ears or just like all of my ears? Because I have a lot of ears. Because um, you guys know that uh, I make I make most of my ears. <laughs> so when I see a design that I like, I'm just like, hey, I'm going to try and make this. So <laughs> a lot of times they end up being DIYs. I'll try it for the first time and I'll be like, hey, this either works or it doesn't. Um, so I will go, uh, maybe I'll do like one Disney pin, one U universal pin. Um, this one's kind of cool because, I mean, it misspelled my name. My mom always got me things that said Megan, regardless of, you know, you could see in this little corner, that's how you actually spell my name. But this is a pin from 2000 and it says Megan. Oh, thanks, Jamie. Um, so this one is from 2000. It's got Donald, Mickey, and Goofy. And... Donald and Goofy are shaking hands there, and it's got Megan on it. Um, oh, Stacy, thanks so much for for posting that. Yeah, we did the Mad Hatter dash on on Saturday, and we had a costume contest. And we're actually going to do. If you guys are interested in doing the five Ks, um, we're doing another virtual five K for July and August. And the person who won the costume contest won. Um, an entire fitness collection, as well as the new lounge fly bag of the Mad Hatter. So if you guys want to um, sign up for the next one and join us, it's so much fun. And you could obviously win some really cool prizes if you if you win the costume contest. Oh, the whole collection of my ears. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of ears. So uh, maybe one day. I actually have a lot of duplicates as well. Um, pairs that I've made for myself, pairs that I have for my Etsy shop. So there are a lot of them, but that is that pin. So, oh, this is going to go by. So I'd love another pin stream from Donna and Meg. Well, Donna, you just tell me uh, when you want to come on because you are welcome anytime. And maybe we could get Ryan from Disney Pins Blog back on and we can have a trio of a stream. And uh, my Queen of Hearts ears are actually right here. There's like right here. <laughs> so... I was very excited. These ones are on my Etsy shop. Um, I made another pair. So, um, yeah, I really like these. And I made the Baby Yoda ears. So those are on my Etsy shop, too. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, I, <laughs> Leanne, don't even worry, especially with the 5K. Are you doing the 5K or are you doing the 10K? I can't remember. Um, and then we're going to do – this one is – 
this one's kind of cool. It's a hard, oh, you're on. I'd love to, Meg. Awesome. This one's from the Hard Rock Cafe, which I think is kind of cool. It's really sparkly. Um, like when I say that we were, we were really into collecting pins, like it didn't matter what pin it was. Like if it was a pin. Oh, so Leanne, they don't time the 5K. So, I mean, they do time the 5K, but they don't have any like balloon ladies. Um, Donna, thank you so much for posting it. I actually think I'm going to run another sale for this upcoming weekend. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Then I could set it up. Um, but I collect pins from all over the place. So I thought this pin was kind of cool. That was a part of it. Um, Patrick, Patrick, are you still here? Um, Cause if Patrick's still here, I'll show that one. But while I'm waiting, um, you guys from, uh, who are universal lovers might like this one. I'm trying to get it off the board. My mom had this like really weird, um, I, I I can make ears um, without bows too. So if you are like, if you really want a pair of ears that you see, or if you have an idea, I do a lot. I do more custom ears. Like more people say, like reach out to me and say, um, Karen. <laughs> Karen is like one of the biggest supporters of my Etsy shop. So thank you like Karen and Donna and like all of you guys have who have bought multiple pairs of ears. I know Tina's bought multiple pair, pairs of ears. Andy J. Like you guys are so kind. Thank you. Um, but this is a Jaws pin and it's got a little dangling element there. It says Universal Studios. It's got a little swimming lady there. Um, I was absolutely terrified of Jaws. So... Um, that's horrible. Oh, Patrick, I, I see your uh, I see your Marco Poloing me. <laughs> so if you're still here, I've got a um, I've got a special pin for you. But we've got Jaws. I'm like trying to put them aside so that I don't forget which ones I've shown. Um, another Universal one is Twister Ride It Out, Universal Studios Florida. Um, really like these tiny ones. Um, but this is pretty cool. Obviously, Jaws and Twister are no longer around. I actually really miss Twister. My parents and I were talking about that um, just very shortly um, ago, that we really miss Twister, and we really wish that would have stayed instead of, uh, <laughs> I'm a universal lover. Oh, wait, that's not you. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a Disney pin next. Um, so this one is another one that's got my name on it. It's from Animal Kingdom. This time we threw in an H just in case. We're getting closer to my to my real name. Um, but it says Megan on there, Animal Kingdom. Um, and on the back, it's really cool. It's got little trees of life. And uh, these are really awesome pins. So, um, e, okay. Oh, gosh. These are on, like, the worst board ever. So I'm going to read, like, she only just found them. I don't know, a couple weeks ago. So I'm trying to like rearrange them. This is a Herbie one. So it says Herbie goes bananas 1980. And he's got a little sombrero there. So it's hard to do this with like my fingers look really big. These are pretty tiny pins, you guys could see. And um, this big island adventure pin, if you could see the difference. <laughs> really, really cool. <laughs> yes, and I am very Irish. <laughs> My family is very, very Irish. So um, actually, I have another pin for Patrick when he wants to come, um, if he's still here. And yes, if you guys don't know, I'm actually um, an Irish citizen, which is really cool. Something I am very proud of to be Irish. So sorry if I'm missing anyone's comments. Uh, Rip Jaws, it didn't even make it to the 30th anniversary sad. Well, they have a lot of stuff from Jaws um, that are still in the parks, like they have a couple things in uh, in Diagon Alley and uh, this King Kong one just like doesn't want to come off. E Watch while I struggle. Like these are like in a board in like a legitimate, like it's like, like really thin plywood. <laughs> um, so this is King Kong, there he is. Confrontation is like one of, I mean, I was terrified of it as a kid, but like we've been watching some of the older Universal rides and uh, I just really like this one. This one had such a distinct smell, like very similar to the E.T. one. Like you just knew it smelled like confrontation. Janie B, I was just saying this. Oh, Patrick. Okay, Patrick's here. Um, but Janie B, I was just saying that I am the worst Irish person because I don't eat meat, I don't eat dairy, um, I don't drink, and uh, 
Oh, I sent you a Marco Polo of the latest Bigfoot update. Okay, I'll have to check it after. Um, and I don't really like potatoes. So I am not a good Irish eater. Um, my parents really love Irish food. You know, Nick, I don't have any Harry Potter pins right here. I'll have to get Harry Potter pins when I go back. Um, but yes, I like to joke that I am actually the worst Irish eater. Um, ironically, some of my, my family in Ireland, a couple of them are vegans too. So that's pretty fun, but a lot of them work on farms. So they just, uh, they, they have a hard time understanding how I eat this way. So yes, Avery, I am. Um, I have been for quite some time. Um, my grandmother is from Ireland. So, um, we were able to do that quite a long time ago. So, um, I have an EU passport and I, I do, I like French fries too. So, um, oh, I'm going to a, the special sale. Keep an eye off. Oh my gosh, Lauren, thank you so much. If you find any cool things, let me know and I will um, send some money your way. <laughs> um, but yes, I like to joke that uh, that I am the worst Irish eater ever. But the rest of my family really likes Irish food. And uh, no, corned beef and cabbage is not an Irish thing. That is very Americanized. <laughs> um, we're actually just watching, if anyone's been watching Netflix, um, we've been like catching up on somebody feed Phil. And oh, Irish soda bread. Yes, 100%. My mom makes the best Irish soda bread and she's been able to make it without dairy. So that's been so good. And uh, yes, Irish soda bread is a must and also brown bread. Like I could do those things, but I just don't eat like rashers or bacon or like, I don't know, Irish sausage. I don't eat those things. Patrick, this pin is for you. And then I also have another one. So the Little Mermaid and on the bottom, it says November 17th, 1989, which it's not from then, but it's, I don't know, guys, these are, it says, um, pin 46 out of 101. Not that I think that these are like low edition sizes, but I think these were a part of a set because we have a lot of them that are from movies and, um, and yeah, like they're all like, I have some like from Winnie the Pooh. Also, I was saying like, I do have more Winnie the Pooh pins because I was, um, a huge Winnie the Pooh fan and Yes, this is another one for Patrick. So you guys, if you don't know, my my biological brother's name is Patrick. So I have a couple pins that say Patrick, and we have a couple Disney buttons that say Patrick. Um, it might be Lauren. I, I haven't done too much investigating because I am not going to ever get rid of these pins. So I think they're just for my you know personal collection. But yes, Patrick. That one can be for, for you. I'm showing that one for you. Um, so we got Little Mermaid. And maybe we could do um, another Universal pin. So I absolutely love one of my favorite rides at Universal is the Jurassic Park um, like water ride. <laughs> Patrick, you're the best. So the River Adventure. Um, so this is a Jurassic Park 3 pin. I don't know why we got this one. But... Uh, it's pretty cool. Anything with Jurassic Park, we're all about. My family loves Jurassic Park. And uh, yes, Patrick is Irish. We're a part of the same. <laughs> we're a part of the same family. Actually, Patrick's family in Ireland and my family from Ireland are from the same area. So that's pretty cool. I do have some family that lives in Dublin, but most of the people live in County Cork. So yeah, most of them live there and they like some of them own pubs and some of them like most of them live on farms. They have working farms. So um, we don't go very often. Yes, Cork. Yeah, my family's from Cork, too. I'm like trying to get my mom like she really, really <laughs> she did this. <laughs> like It's so hard to get them off. This next one is from 2000 as well. It's the Magic Kingdom and uh a brother from another mother. No, actually, he is from my mom. So <laughs> he's my oldest, oldest brother. So that one is kind of, it's not like showing up very well. Um, but it, it's got the castle there. It's got um, Pluto, Mickey, Goofy, and Donald. I don't know why they're like kicking out all the girls in these 2000 pins. But you could see there. Oh, that's a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little better. Um, but that is from 2000 as well. I wish Disney had a park in Ireland. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool if they did. Um, I sent this, I have to show this one because Patrick Patrick and I have such weird connections. So um, 
Like he, <laughs> I really, really think that you should name baby Zip the name of my other brother, um, but they never had his name on any of the pins. So like they had my oldest brother's name. They obviously had Patrick's name. Um, and then they didn't, oh, I never ever looked at the back of this. This is really cool. Um, they had my name, obviously it, it's not the same way that I spell it, but they didn't have my brother Liam's name. So it. my mom just got him one that said, you're special. <laughs> So like everyone else in my family, like I got a pin. Um, my mom got herself a pin. <laughs> yes, wait, Hannah, he is my adopted brother. So um, like you could see, um, we got Megan, all the Irish names coming at you, Patrick, <laughs> Michael, but they just had it as Mike. Um, and then my mom got one, Kathleen. Um, so my mom couldn't find my brother Liam's name because, you know, 20 years ago, Liam wasn't a common name, I don't think. Like, I mean, obviously in Ireland. Um, so she, <laughs> Donna said, Ella, that is so your mom. I love that. Yeah, she she was just like, well, he doesn't have a pin. How am I supposed to get all my other kids pins? So he got a, you're special. And uh, I <laughs> I sent him that, I sent Liam that, that picture um, a, a couple weeks ago and we just had the, the greatest laugh about that because it's like you're special so we got a bunch of those pins um my dad is obviously not the biggest disney fan i i've said it plenty of times um but he is a huge fan of mickey's not so scary halloween party just not like anything else he really will not go to magic kingdom other than the halloween party so he tends to avoid that um so obviously you're not going to see my dad name on any of these but my mom actually has a couple of her own pins that has her name on it um they're just really fun so i showed you guys all of those i'm like trying to line them up so i don't forget um this one i hey steve welcome and no i don't have any pins that have steve on them i wish i did um this one's kind of cool oh, oh i forgot to show you guys the back of this one so this is what the back looks like it's really awesome it's got the logos of the parks on the back and it says, Walt Disney World, celebrate the future hand in hand, kind of like Avery was saying before. Um, but that I just thought that was such a cool back. And you don't see backs like that anymore. Um, but this one just says the United States. We have some, we have another pin. You could kind of kind of see that. We have another pin that's got Connecticut on it um, with Mickey. And if you guys don't, I have pins that have Steve on them. Steve, you missed my Megan pins. And they both have my name spelled wrong, but that's okay, because they tried. So there are my Megan pins <laughs> from 2000. And uh, yes, we've got Mickey and his little perfect for July 4th. Um, is that is that the 2000 pin? I don't actually know when this pin is from. It doesn't have a year on it. Um, so I don't know. Um, here is another pin from what I'm assuming from the, yes, hashtag they tried. Donna, no one spells their name like this even now. Like they're so... I've rarely met other Megans that spell their name like this. A few, but um, it's rare. So I think this is from another movie set. It could be from 2000, as Lauren was saying, the um, 2000 set. My mom said I was special, too. <laughs> you are very special. They had one from all 50 states. I used to collect them. So they actually just had the... Um, the American Adventure ones that were the mystery pins. And I know I showed that off on um, Patrick's stream because I got one of the chasers, maybe right in the A with a pen. I love it, Deborah. Awesome. Um, I, I do leave it there. Um, and I mean, it's fun just to have as a memory. Steve's world, Bigfoot is real. I love it, Patrick. Um, but I, I actually got the chaser for Florida for that one. So that was really cool. This one is a Toy Story 2 pin. You've got Jesse, Bullseye, and Woody on there. And also another one. So if anyone knows, this is pin 15 out of 101. So there's got to be some set that this is from. Because um, I also have, like, I have Snow White. I've got Tarzan. Um, another Snow White one. Pooh, Peter Pan. Um, so there's a bunch of them that I have. Awesome, Avery. Thank you so much. Um, so Avery said that the star pin is from 2001. So this is the Snow White one. It's so hard because this is backwards. So you can kind of see Snow White is there with her little birdie friend. And it says Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And then it says December 21st, 1937. So it's got all of the dates that these movies came out from. So 
Um, we have, I'm like trying to organize. So yes, this is definitely another one from the same set. This is Cinderella. I really love the princesses. So I still do. <laughs> I mean, who am I kidding? I still love them. Cinderella. Um, this one just says 1950 on it though. So it doesn't have a specific date, but Donna, I would honestly really, really love to see some of your older pins. I think that would be so, so awesome. I know Donna is like the ultimate pin collector. Um, so I don't know where this one's from, but this is like one of my favorite ones. Uh, our Disney Adventures, Ohana, I have missed you guys. Welcome back. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so this one is Winnie the Pooh. It says friendlier with two. And I am a huge Disney and Winnie the Pooh fan. I don't know why I said Disney. I'm obviously a big Disney fan. I'm a big Winnie the Pooh fan. And uh, I really love this, like, very, um, I don't know what, sketchy kind of sketch um, original artwork that is on this pin. So you never send me Marcos anymore, <laughs> Zibbity Doo Dad. <laughs> um, so I really, really love that pin as well. I'm going to show a couple. Um, I was trying to, oh, let me get this one if I can. Oh my gosh, yes, I cut my hair back in February. <laughs> so in December, I cut uh, I cut like eight inches off. And then in, uh, in February, I cut uh, another eight inches off. So it was actually like up to here and my hair has grown quite a bit. I actually added, you guys can't see because I'm wearing the ears. I actually added some more blue to it. There is blue in there. You, you can't see very well um but it's in there so <laughs> um this is like one of the best pins i am a huge et fan i know some people don't like et but i absolutely love et um et phone home and this ride is my favorite ride at universal it is the ride that i like to go to first um thank you so much oda you guys are so kind yes yeah, i i can't wait till my hair grows out again so <laughs> i really miss my long hair but it's good to have a change i uh i i really needed it so yes the smell the et smell so i know some people are like really freaked out by et i'm not i absolutely love him i have a plush downstairs of uh et so he's super awesome i'm gonna show another one because you guys might like this one if i could get him off my mom like literally like hammered these in oh my gosh <laughs> she like she really elliot exactly marshall man elliot and sometimes i'll go in the ride and she, don't tell anyone but i won't say my name is megan like this was my favorite thing to do when i was a kid like say the names of like people like everyone's names that I always wanted to be named and sometimes I'll just say Elliot because I want him to say goodbye Elliot <laughs> Stacy said I saw a cloud today that looked like E.T.'s hand but that wasn't the finger that was up <laughs> that's pretty cool so this is like one of the tiniest pins um that I have ever seen but if you could see, it's a little Spider-Man pin. It's like really, really hard to see. He is more red in person. You like it's the lighting here, but um, look how tiny this pin is. And you guys know that I am a huge Spider-Man fan. And um, I think Melly Mel was talking about this pin. I don't know if you have the same one, um, but this is a September 11th, 2001 USA guitar pin from the Hard Rock. So. Sorry, that was like really, I just saw it and it was getting placed into the pins that I had already showed. Um, but that was another cool one. Yes, Spider Meg, Spider Meg does whatever Spider Meg does. Can she swing from a web? No, she can't because she's a Meg. So this is from, um, <laughs> it says Long's Drugs 1997. I don't know what this is from, but it says Hercules Victory Parade Disneyland. And I'm not really sure how I acquired this. Have you done Spider-Man makeup before? No, I haven't. Um, yes, Mike, I actually, I did it earlier so that you didn't have to remind me. And I was trying to be really on top of it. And it was Leanne. So, um, Pin picks list, the Mickey United States pin is 2001. Thanks, my Disney Park memories. That's awesome. Um, Avery said it was 2001 as well, so I'm so glad to get some confirmation for that. Um, Marguerite Nagy, hello. But 
Um, no, I have never done Spider-Man makeup. And Leanne, you rock. Thank you, Mike, as always, for reminding me. I am, I forget a lot of stuff. So um, this is this Disneyland one. And uh, I don't know how we came, I, I got this. Um, I know my mom uh, had had been to Disneyland when she was a kid, but this is obviously not from 2000, and, I mean, from 1997. So I'm not, I'll have to ask her how we, Oh, no worries, Mike. No, you're you're like always here, so no worries. Hey, Sherry, welcome. So I don't know how I got this pin, but it's really cool. Many of you know who um, who put the gliding gladiator Hercules. Um, I love Hercules. It's one of my favorite movies. So I I just like I'm so glad I have Hercules pin. This one is the Disney Club inaugural member. So <laughs> <laughs> Not that this one is that cool, but she kept this one as well, which is pretty, pretty nice to have these memories. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to try and go a little bit faster so that we don't um, go over Pepper Tree Villa too much. Um, one of my favorite rides at Universal is, oh, Hercules is playing in our bus now. I love it. <laughs> Hercules is like one of my favorite soundtracks. But this pin um, is from one of my other favorite attractions, Ryan McDowell. Hello, you did an incredible job on this stream. Please, please, everyone go subscribe to Ryan McDowell, the guy who just had, wait, let me just, uh, this guy, whoo, go subscribe to him because he is going to start doing video streams, like everything, and he is so funny, so you don't want to miss that at all, and uh, awesome stream. We really, really loved getting to hear a little bit more about you, and uh, I mean, Obviously, as your um, brother-in-law said, you're a stud. So um, Men in Black, so Alien Attack, which is one of my favorite rides. This is my dad's like favorite ride at Universal. And um, it's so hard to show these. But the thing I really like about, um, thanks Donna so much for posting that. And uh, the thing that's really cool about these are that they're pretty tiny pins. And uh, I really like that they're small and petite, um, but, I also have um, another, I, I have a few other Universal pins that um, I have showed previously on my channel, like my second video maybe that I made ever. Please don't go back and watch it though because it's really embarrassing. Um, oh, I, <laughs> I set off Siri. Oh my gosh, you remember that one night though that I was, we were saying, hey Siri, play this song. And uh, Steve and I were doing that while we were painting. But this is another alien attack one. Um, I have a couple other um, MIB ones that I own, and uh, these are just ones that I don't know why they were in a special shadow box. Um, off to another uh, Disney pin. This is from one of the other sets as well, 1928. So this one, obviously the pin is not from 1928, but um, we have one of the very classic Mickey and Minnie Mouse cartoons, and I just really love the Mickey waffling on these backs. Trying to go really fast. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like I should take lessons in Pepper Tree Villa and uh, bring out the white gloves. You got my Alexa going crazy that night, too. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. So this is actually a very cool set. Um, if I could get it out. Um, this is... I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to do this. This is Mickey Mouse. And he comes with his little lady, Minnie Mouse. Well, appears to be like sitting on a piano and uh this is a really really cool pin set and uh yeah I'm like trying really hard I feel like I need a different backdrop it's supposed to be that way Mickey's playing the piano Minnie's sitting on the piano watching really really lovely pin um this next one is Goofy in first film Mickey's review 1932 let's see like always do such a bad job trying to put, <laughs> show it on the stream. But I feel like I need the white gloves for these. So this is another one. Obviously, I think, like I said, this was from the same set as many of the other ones with the movies. I'm going to actually try and go through those first. And then we will finish with the other ones. We have four, uh, five more of those. One. Well, yes, five more of those pins. And so this pin is one of my favorites. It is Pooh from 1966. Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorite characters. I know I talk about that. Um, he's just such a love. So 
I love, oh, that's a little bit better. You guys could kind of see, definitely, I feel like my mom really, really took care of these pins. So um, this next one is Peter Pan from 1953, matches my ears. <laughs> so Peter Pan, we got there. Um, like I said, these are probably all from the same set. Those are from the Countdown to Millennium collection released in 1999. Thank you so much, Brett. Um, I didn't know the name of the collection. I figured that they were all from the same set. So I really appreciate you letting me know what the year it was, as well as the actual set name. Um, this is from Peter Pan as well. Captain Hook we got. So I kind of wonder how how many came in this set, if I have all of them. That would be pretty cool. Um, so like they're very reflective pins, so it's hard to show on the camera. But we got Captain Hook there. And uh, this one we have Tarzan from 1999. Do you have a rare pin? I have a lot of rare pins. Uh, these are some of my older pins. So yes, thank you so much, Lauren, for letting me know um, as well. But yeah, I have other rare pins. These are not as rare, they're just older pins. So Tarzan. And then the final pin from that set that I have, I believe is this, um, this Evil Queen one, because you guys know I love my lady, the Evil Queen. And uh, she's obviously from Snow White. Says, who's the fairest one of all the Queen 1937? Like, when we see her, we just refer to her as, like, the beauty, because she is stunning. Like, we love her so much. Um, we have a couple Animal Kingdom pins. I'm going to try and do this really fast, because I know that Pepper Tree Villa goes live in just a few minutes, so you're my queen. Yes, Donna, my queen. <laughs> um, I'm, like, trying to really, really get, get these off. Um, I totally want to get into pin collecting once we get back into the parks. Ryan, you need to do that. I can't wait to see all your pins. Um, this is actually one of my favorite pins from this board. It's the, this Animal Kingdom pin. It's actually fairly large, if you guys could see the size of my hand, compared to some of the other pins, like this tiny, tiny Mickey Mouse one. Um, but it's got some pin-on-pin pin there, and, uh, you see all the animals, but what's cool is you see the little dragon there, too. So, um, this is from 2000 as well. I'm... <laughs> Tonight is the final episode of the Daily Dose of Disney. Oh my goodness. So they've been doing it for like a whole year. That's crazy. Yes, the queen in Disneyland is awesome. We were in Disneyland for three days and I think we met the queen four times. So another Animal Kingdom pin. Here we are. Um, we actually have a couple um, keychains as well. And this says a new species of theme park opens 1998. Um, on the back, which is pretty, pretty cool. I don't know if you guys could see that. Some of the writing is really small. Donna, you have that same one? Oh, that's so cool. This is a little 101 Dalmatians um, pin from the live action movie. And it's just so cute. Like, I like anything with, <laughs> with dogs. <laughs> you guys might like this pin. Um, it's got Mickey Mouse, and then it's got a photo of Walt as well. That probably came in the same set. It appears that it did. Um, cause it's got the same numbers. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Right, Lauren? And this one, um, I think that maybe this one came earlier. I don't know if that one said a new species of theme park is coming in 1998. Um, this one is probably a pin that I just wanted to get. My mom <laughs> let me get it, I guess. Um, or I bought it with my ten dollars. Um, this is Belle. It's really hard to see, but it's got this beautiful glitter purple background. Um, it says Belle on there, and it's got her castle in the background. She's in her yellow dress, and uh, Belle is one of my favorite favorite princesses. Um, I'm almost done with these, and then um, probably a few more minutes, and then we will. Send everyone over. No, I don't have an Irish setter. I wish, you know, I had two dogs um, for a good majority of my life and uh, they both have passed. And I, I so badly miss having dogs. Like um, I dog walk in, it's sort of in, uh, in place of that. But this is another one of 2000. I'm such a dog person though. I absolutely love dogs. Um, another 2000 pin. This is another one. You know, like, obviously we started collecting more pins in 2000 or 1999. Um, so this just says celebrate the future hand in hand as well. 
So another smaller 2000 pin. And uh, I won't show that one because that one just got my mom's name on it, but, or maybe I can, it's okay. Um, I don't know when this is from, but it's got her name on it. And uh, it's got Minnie, Mickey and Donald. It's really cool, got the castle. And uh, this one we have Donald. I've actually seen like a scrapper pin look like this. So um, this is definitely not a scrapper pin. <laughs> Party like it's 1999, I love it. Good night, Michelle. Um, I just have a few more pins left. And then you guys can head on over to Pepper Tree Villa or if you wanna do that right now, that's totally fine too. Um, this one is from Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure. So I absolutely love Toontown um, or the um, the Toon section over there, whatever it's called, not Toontown, because that's obviously in Disney. Um, I collect anything with Beauty and the Beast, that's awesome. Um, but the little comic book section over there and uh, you just like, you're transported into this whole new area. It's so awesome. So we got a few more pins. Oh, some people might like this if you like um, Popeye. Look how tiny these pins are. This just says Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. So hard to see. So tiny. <laughs> yes, Dudley do right. Um, and uh, that ride, Rips Off Falls, is... Uh, that's pretty intense. So um, we have a couple more. One, two, three, we have four more, five more. And uh, this one is Seuss Landing. Absolutely love Dr. Seuss and the theming in Seuss Landing. Super awesome. I wish I could see what years these were from. Oh, that one's not gonna, I don't know if that one will come off. This one, I really miss. I truly, truly miss. I wish that, yes, olive oil is, is pretty cute in that pin. Um, I really wish that this ride never left. Uh, I'm I am very nostalgic for uh, a lot of the older Universal rides. And uh, I, I miss this one very much. Um, Back to the Future, that ride was incredible. So I'm happy to have a pin from that. You could still see um, Doc Brown there if you like catch a meet and greet. So we've gotten to meet him before. We've got, um, is it Sam from Green Eggs and Ham? I can't remember. I think it is. Um, but the guy from Dr. Seuss, I'm pretty sure his name is Sam I Am. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's him from Green Eggs and Ham from another Seuss pin. We have, well, e. Now this ride, or, or attraction, I should say, um, yeah, the, I know that the doc is still, um, I've seen him around in, in Orlando as well. So this one has recently left, um, which is the Terminator, and now has just been recently um, reopen to the Born show, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to experience that. But T2, you have two more pins, but I don't know if I'll be able to get this other pin off because it's so small. And my mom like really secured these. I feel like I should just like take them off of the board permanently. <laughs> oh wait, no, I have one more Disney one. It's not a pin, but it's a, um, a well, it's kind of a pin, I guess. <laughs> um, this one says you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. So I really like that one. Um, I absolutely love the Grinch. And uh, let's see if I can get this one. Well, I have another one of Woody Woodpecker, but I can't get that one off. He's really tiny as well. And then this is the last one that I have. Um, this one's really, really cool. Um, it's got all of the parks there. So you see Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Epcot. And then it has the little. Um, water tower for Hollywood Studios or MGM as it would have been at the time. And uh, yeah, it's really awesome. I really love to find all these pins. Thank you, a huge thank you to my mom. Um, and yeah, I still have one for Woody Woodpecker and then I have one for, it's got a, it's got a cheeseburger on it and then it says Margaritaville. So <laughs> has she made it to the bottom yet? You know, I have a lot of pins. These ones are extra special. They're actually, I these aren't even the, the um, all the old pins that I have. Um, I have a whole stack of them that are actually still sealed and um, when they were in plastic packaging and maybe one other day I could show those. I definitely think um, 
maybe Donna, Leanne, uh, Lauren, we could all hop on and, and talk about pins or Disney and something like that. We'll have a ladies night. And um, yes, it, I can't believe it was removed that long ago. It doesn't seem that long ago. Like I said, I still feel like it's kind of like 2008 or 2010. Like my brain still thinks it's that long ago. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, getting to let me talk about my pins. I absolutely love talking about my pins. Um, Donna, I know that you love pins too. And it just, it's something that makes me happy. And it's the reason I started my YouTube channel. If you go back and, um, if you go back and watch my first video or first couple of videos, they were all about Disney pins. And, um, that's the reason I, I joined YouTube to make friends with people that enjoy Disney pin trading as well. Cause, um, I don't know. <laughs> I, my, I think my first three videos were Disney pins and then what ears I had. So yeah, I, I love pins and ears. I have way too many of them, but it's, some, it's something that really makes me happy. And I'm so glad that I get to share that with all of you. Um, please, please be sure to check in next week where I get to interview the most fabulous guests, um, Preston and Pete McDevitt. Um, they are just so wonderful and I can't wait to have them on. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for being here. Please head over to um, the hour-long series finale of Daily Dose of Disney. That is so exciting. Um, please, please go check that out. Yes, Hannah, they are so artistic and unique. And I think I really, I think of them as little pieces of art. And I know that like Donna does as well and Steve does and all of you guys who are pin collectors. And they are little forms of art. And um, I've even gotten to meet some of the artists like Donna and I went to the Disney pin trading night um, last year in May. And we got to meet the artist who designed all the pins. It's so, so wonderful um, to get to see their creativity. Um, but thank you guys as always for being here. Please, please go check out Pepper Tree Villa right now. They are live on their channel. Go check out, check out that link. And, um, I will be back next week for a stream with Preston and Pete McDevitt. We guys have a wonderful rest of your week and stay safe and healthy. Um, see you later guys. Bye.